Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man with some information that may bring new radio stations to many areas in the United States. The FCC is opening up talks about an expanded FM band in the area where RF Channel 6 is currently used for some TV stations, specifically in the 82 to 88 megahertz range. How likely is this to take place and what will happen to TV stations that currently operate on RF Channel 6? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. News about the FCC considering an expanded FM band was brought to light thanks to an REC Networks and Radio Insight article. I give full credit to both of these websites for bringing this information to the public and myself, and will include links to both in the description of the video, so be sure to check them out for more details. The first thing I want to make clear about the whole situation is that it's only a discussion at this time. The FCC is not going to vote on expand FM ban in the June meeting, but rather just start a discussion. In addition to a possible expansion of the FM ban, the FCC will also discuss the future of 13 Franken FMs that operate an analog audio signal on 87.7 FM and whether to eliminate low band FM protection for Channel 6 TV stations. You can find more information about these two proposals in the articles attached in the description of the video, but I'm sure most of you are interested in hearing about an expanded FM band. For decades, there have been rumors about getting rid of TV Channel 6, which falls right under the current FM band, to expand FM radio. Unfortunately, due to the FCC selling UHF spectrum to cell phone companies, this wasn't entirely possible, as some TV stations were forced to keep their broadcast signal on RF Channel 6. Well now, it seems that an expand FM band may be a possibility in the future. Inside the 33-page FCC document, it states that the proposal is being pushed by NPR, or National Public Radio. This makes sense, as NPR could expand their propaganda, I mean unbiased public service, to more areas if the FM ban gets extended. The proposal would affect areas where there are currently low-powered TV stations operating on Channel 6 without actual television programming, aka Franken FMs, or no Channel 6 TV stations at all. As a reminder, most TV stations do not broadcast on a channel number you see on air and on your TV set. So if you know you have a channel 6 in your area, like a CBS 6, they might not actually be broadcasting on RF channel 6, which means your area may get more FM radio stations if the band gets extended. An expanded FM band from 82 to 88 megahertz, in theory, would open up to 30 new radio frequencies. However, the actual number of new radio stations in each market would likely be a lower number in order to prevent interference. If the FCC decide to expand the FM ban, they seek comment on whether it should be limited to non-commercial stations or if commercial radio groups can apply for a license. My opinion on this a little bit later in the video. Now before everyone gets really excited, this is all just talk for now. Even if the FM band is extended, it would take years for new radios to be manufactured and purchased by the average consumer, if there even is enough demand. Just look at how HD radio ended up. Poor marketing and lack of in-store radios resulted in a new radio standard that's unknown by most people. While the FCC is seeking comment on this and other issues, they aren't accepting the comments quite yet. When they do, I will make a post on how to submit comments. So here's my opinion of the whole thing. Channel 6 is horrible for TV broadcasting and it would be better utilized for something else, such as an expanded FM band. I personally believe that an expanded FM band would provide an excellent opportunity for smaller non-commercial broadcasters who can't currently obtain a license with how crowded the FM band is. However, there really needs to be limits on how many licenses one company can own in a given market. Otherwise, it will end up as more of the same of what we have on FM today, where the non-commercial band is flooded with NPR or K-Love, and the commercial band is flooded with cookie-cutter music formats that play the same 20 songs 
limited local programming, and 25 minutes of commercials every hour, thanks to deregulations which allowed these big media companies to really suck the life out of radio. Now there are some downsides to extending the FM band. It could potentially put millions of otherwise useful AM FM radios in a landfill as people upgrade their radio tuners. It would also put the future of the current 13 Franken FMs in jeopardy, which include Me TV FM in Chicago and La Nueva in DC. If you listen to a radio station on 87.7 FM, it may not be around much longer if the FM band expands. The expansion could also result in more interference to TV stations that currently broadcast on RF Channel 6. One of the propositions is to eliminate low band FM protection for Channel 6. While most new TV sets will filter out the adjacent FM band just fine, I'm sure there would be some exceptions which can result in reception problems for some people who have a Channel 6 in their area. If an expansion of the FM band takes place, just get rid of RF Channel 6 from the TV band entirely. It's not good for TV broadcasting anyway. I know it, viewers of 6ABC in Philadelphia know it, the engineers at 6ABC know it, and I'm sure the FCC even knows it. Move the current RF Channel 6 TV stations to another frequency. If one isn't available in a given market, hold an incentive auction similar to the FCC repack to compensate Channel 6 TV stations for a channel share in a given market. Once again, an expanded FM band is just a discussion at this point. I'll keep everyone posted if there are any updates to it, so if you want some information on when public comment is opened, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you hit the bell for notifications, notifications are enabled on your smartphone, you can even sign up to my email list attached in the description of the video. I will make a post as soon as I'm made aware that the FCC is accepting public comments on this topic. If you decide to submit one, please keep it technical and fact-based. Do not just say, I want expanded FM band because I want more radio stations in my area. Use facts to support your comment, not just personal opinion. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting antenna related videos and have an awesome day.